around here in my kitchen, my rules, and in my kitchen, my rules, we just had a conversation about whether or not white claw is appropriate for underage drinkers, and the answer in my house is categorically no, because you probably shouldn't drink until um, ever, I mean, frankly, ever, don't ever drink, but tonight I'm going to have a Cabarrus Brewing Vanilla Coffee Blonde, and we were also having a discussion about whether or not this makes the foam better and makes it not overflow. Look, see, oh, that didn't work. So now Timmy's gonna win the bet for the family. So if you like a good local beer, if you're in the Charlotte area, they're in Concord. In fact, they're over at the Gibson Mill Plaza and they're super nice guys. And actually the mayor has been known to be over there, Bill Dutch, sometimes, you know, he runs marathons and drinks beer. So, hey, good mayor background. So anyway, because it's a holiday weekend, and for this holiday, it's actually Memorial Day. So what y'all tend to do is cook out and go outside and, and sit and drink things like beer. You can have this for breakfast, I think, because it has coffee in it. And I'm gonna show you how to make a really good hamburger, cheeseburger, because some of y'all make some terrible stuff. And don't buy them pre-made ones at the grocery store because they're greasy, right? If you wonder why it has no flavor and it's greasy. So we're gonna get two pounds of ground chuck here. And you see how pretty and red that is? Yes, if your ground beef is brown, um, put it down. And so what we're gonna do next is some Worcestershire sauce. Put in as much as it takes to turn it brown. See, you don't want it brown from the grocery store, but cover it up, because you frankly cannot use too much Worcestershire sauce. And I wanna get a high five on that, right? Because we love it. And I only buy Lee and Perrin's because it comes in the wrapper, so it makes it look like it's a 40, and that makes it more fun. The next thing we're gonna add is a secret ingredient that y'all may never have heard of. It's called Texas peat dust. So Texas peat is the best hot sauce ever and it's from Winston-Salem. Now don't use too much of this because it can overtake everything else. So I'm just gonna use like two squirts of, or maybe three of the powder and two pounds of meat. So this is a great little addition to your flavor and yay Texas peat. And then we're gonna add a package of Hidden Pally Ranch mix. Trust me on this. So y'all are already questioning things. Don't be questioning. Y'all said you questioned my baked beans with the enchilada sauce and you found out they're real good. Mm -hmm. If you missed that episode, go back and look at my other episodes of the cooking show. And then we're gonna mix in a half a bag of Colby Jack shredded cheese. So these will be actual cheeseburgers. If you are lactose intolerant, or a vegetarian or a vegan, you probably should not be watching my cooking show. And y'all might even notice, this is the one time I'm not cooking with butter. So my hands are clean and I'm, I'm gonna cut the video off because y'all frankly should know what a hamburger shape looks like, but that's your ingredients. It's meat, Worcestershire, Texas peat dust, a little bit of Colby Jack, a little bit of Hidden Valley Ranch. And then a little secret too, after you form your patty, put your thumbprint in the middle, make it a little bit of a divot. It keeps it from turning into the burger ball that was made famous by Eddie Murphy once upon a time. So anyway, happy holidays. Enjoy the heck out of some homemade burgers and hot dogs. And remember to say a little extra prayer for all the veterans who gave you the freedom to have a day off. And by the way, those freedoms are under attack. Fight for them, friends. They were fought for, for you to have them. Don't let them go. See you next time.